literally all set up and ready to go. And we're literally going, we're going to get some food. So yeah, there's the setup. And how cool is that? So we've got all the guys out this time because it's windy up here. That's the view, look. Look at that. But as you can see, or as you can hear, it's windy. So we've got everything out. And it looks ace. Joe is all sat down, nice and comfy. So we've got new additions. We've got these nice new chairs, which are royal chairs. We'll uh, we'll have a look at them in a little bit more detail as we uh, go through the week. Look at that, eh? Comfy. And then we've got this high gear table, which I'm not impressed with, to be honest with you. This is the first time that we've set it up, and Charlie was lifting it up, and that has literally just snapped already. So that's going back. So that's not much cock. So there you go. That's uh, one thing, one one item to stay clear of if you're thinking about getting a camping table. That's uh, the high gear one. And that's the, the camper. She's all ready. A couple of new additions that you guys may have not seen or we've not talked about. Got some nice flags up. And we've got the, the bottle opener there, which you saw in the last camper van video but other than that i think that is pretty much it new wise for the van but yeah we'll we'll have a look in a little bit more detail the chairs and the table as well we'll check the table out even though it's a load of rubbish <laughs> morning everybody and what a blustery night that was first night here on the campsite and uh yeah it was literally blowing a hoolie i don't think i've experienced but well, i haven't experienced wind like it in the van it was shaking the van and the the awning was going for it uh you could hear the roof Charlie was up top um wes was a bit concerned and wanted to pull the roof down because it was that windy but uh charlie was a the man of the moment weren't you and he said he's all right up there so yeah he survived the night just about to have a second brew of the day and get the breakfast on.
we're back. We're back down in KK. Yeah. Here he is. And he's with a visitor. He's got a visitor with him this weekend. And it's Andy. And he's a subscriber of the channel. Along with his wife, Alex. There's Hello. the man. Here right. he is. It's the first time he's I'm, actually been on camera this uh, I'm this not weekend. Alex, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm back back down at KK with Ginger and Andy, and uh, look at this. It's already set. We're down here for uh, for breakfast this morning, and uh, hopefully a brew. Fingers crossed. If he's got a spur cup. Um, but yeah, look at it. Things have changed. Hey, look at that. There it is. That is it. How cool is that? That is tiny, isn't it? That's perfect. Beauty. You're not the first to say that. So <laughs> you don't go that way. <laughs> That's his new yes, store. Yes, absolute beauty, dude. I'm stoked to bits with it. So he's going to be taking that up to Scotland with him this year, and he's going for a bit of a longer stint. How long are you going for this time? Um, hopefully four months, if I can squeeze it out. Yeah. So, four uh, months. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot to do. Want to go to Orkney, up to Shetland. Oh, wow. I'm going to try and get out to the Outer Hebrides as well. I haven't been there for a long time. Oh, man. Used to surf out there a lot. So, um, yeah, so that's the plan. But um, we'll see how it all pans out. What a trip. And that's come October time? Yeah, November. Early yeah. November, I think. Yeah. Then then I'll be heading up. You'll be up. I'll go via Norfolk, go see the family. And yeah. then, yeah. yeah, then off I go. So, wicked. Can't wait. Nice one, mate. Good to see you yeah, again. Yeah, anyway. you too, dude. I'm stoked you've been and, here. Like I say, this is Andy. He's a subscriber of the channel. So I hope, I hope he likes the content. I'm sure he'll watch this video anyway, he's in it. Yeah, right. <laughs> My nephew will be pleased to see it. I know yeah, that. yeah. What's, his, what's your nephew's uh, name? Jacob. Jacob. Hiya, Jacob. I believe uh, you watch the, the videos as well, along with Charlie. Uh, unfortunately, he's not out of his pit this morning, so he can't come down. He was going to do, he said, uh, am I invited? So, uh, yeah, he, he's not got up, but uh, yeah. Nice to meet you there, pal. It's been a while since I've seen this kettle live. <laughs> He's missed you, Ant. Uh, <laughs> and I've missed him. Look at that. Uh, and it's cool. still not for sale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still not for sale, yeah. 200 and odd pounds he was offered for this kettle. And the idiot didn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought another one because you know where, where the tablet sits. Mm -hmm. The two sides of Okay. Do you have sugar? In? I can't remember. I'm all right. W whatever. Oh you, well. Yeah, you can put some in. It'll wake me up. It's magnificent as well. And I can spy some haggis in there as well. You can, dude. He's treating us this morning. He's got to say, you'll be glad we've got that gator going up back up that hill in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> he can't borrow your hand. Oh, <laughs> back down. Would you get breakfast is like this? That is creepy as anything, isn't it? Shape shifter. Oh.
Well, today is a special day. It's a block of gold here. I've got a block of gold. So we went down to uh, Lou today and uh, the, uh, the fisherman just came in and had a nice piece of uh, filleted sea bass to go. Now I asked for two and when she weighed it, it came in at 20 quid. <laughs> so I went, can you put one back? <laughs> so we've just got the one. But that looks, that looks immense. Look at that. Oh man, that is a fresh as you like sea bass. So that's going on. That's 10 quid's worth. <laughs> Have you put sauce in it? Worth every penny. Morning everyone. Well, it is the penultimate morning, but it's the it's the big breakfast morning. Ginger's done a bit of bit of uh magnificence and, and gone to a butcher's and got all things nice. So we've got black pudding, we've got white pudding, sausages, bacon. So yeah, we've got some eggs on the go as well. Yeah, it's going to be a good breakfast. Here's Ginger now, ready for his bracky. Hey, Hello, come on in. How's it going? It's on the go. Excellent. The man okay. has done us proud. Look at that. Absolutely unbelievable, and it just fits perfectly on the uh, on the Van Gogh XL, the Scran XL. I tell you what, this bit of kit has done us justice this holiday. For a full week, we've used it day and night, cooking on it, and it's not Mr. B. It's it's literally cooked cooked everything we put on it to perfection. We had a curry on it last night, so yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, well worth it. The Van Gogh Scram XL. Tell us what you think of the sausage, Charlie. They're good, then. They're nice. You like them? Yeah. Better than walls? Well, that was Sammy look. <laughs> oh wow. So that's the uh, Port William then. Yeah. 